Hey everybody, Skyward Link here. Welcome back to another episode of Kirby's Adventure. In the last episode, um, actually, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't recall. Correct me if I'm wrong, since it's been a while since I recorded. I don't think I ever. I don't think I ever showed off running. You just double tap the side and you run. It's crazy, right? Anyway, welcome back to another episode of Kirby's Adventure. In the last episode, we did World 2, the Ice Cream Island. Got through all of that. And we got all the way here to Butter Building. In this episode, we're going to take on Butter Building. I'm not sure if we'll be able to finish it all or not. Well, it honestly all depends on how things go in terms of recording. So without further ado, let's get started with stage one of Butter Building. Now, I do like the Butter Building music. It's one of my favorite tracks in the franchise. Um, Alright, starting off with a sword. Woo! And just like that, sword's gone. Alright, well, mm, I could get the sword back. Do I want Crack? Crack Kirby? Or Crackle? Kabla Kabloomy Kirby? I'm not sure. Get back your sword. Dang, already off to a bad start. Uh, God, please. Just let me. Let me have this, please. Really? 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 Man, this is a great start, guys. Great start, fellas. Alright, gonna kill you. Gonna enter this part. Because we got a little something. Oh, and we are not gonna need ourselves good old sword anymore. Because we have my favorite ability. Sword. I was gonna try to get Stone Kirby, but... It's not. Oh, we got Mr. Clocky. Mr. Clocky, dude. And things are not good already. We are already dying. Dang. Dang, Butter Building is stepping up its game. Now we gotta do it the old-fashioned way. Ow. Why is he already at health health? Unless that's just the amount of health he starts with. Okay, so you can't get anything out of the music notes. Okay, I was just curious. I was curious, Mr. Clocky Dude. Come on, shower me with your music notes so I can kill you. You won't be getting me this time. No sir, Mr. Clock. Mr. Clock! Alright, one more should do this. We just gotta avoid his little shocky waves from his, uh, gosh darn, uh, attack. So, takes care of him. Give me your mic. So I can spread the love and cheer. Throw out my megaphone. Ow. Alright, there goes my megaphone. I don't really care too much about it. Uh, ooh! Um, okay, there's something new there. That's a button. I... I don't think- I forgot they were- I didn't even know they were in this game, I forgot. Um, buttons, I believe- I'll explain them, I'll- I will i do not know where they are. I mean, I could try. We'll do a cut or something, I don't- Something, I don't know. Maybe later on we'll go back and get this button, but I think buttons- I'm gonna go off the top of my head for what I think, because this is the end of the level. Buttons, I believe- Ooh! They made up for my little mishap. Dang. No, buttons, um... You press them, and I think they unlock, like, a mini game or something. Like, kind of like a secret or something. I'm just taking a guess, because I don't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, this is the butter building. We got fire. Oh, I still have laser. Ooh, and there, there's curves, too. That's like it was made for this. Watch this. No, laser. You think, you think, you fellas think we'll get, uh... We'll be able to get ourselves a UFO this time? Have I ever mentioned how bad I am at Kirby? God dang it. Uh, give me my meta -mato. Thank you, Clash of Clans, for telling me that my troops are ready to be sent into battle. I like this this part right here. Just a, it's just a, just a building, you know? It's kind of like we're going in circles, twirling around, fiddling, fiddling, fiddly diddly. And we spin it around a lot, and we open up the way through. And now we gotta kinda ascend the tower. Jeez Louise, stone. It's a stone, Luigi. So yeah, you just gotta watch out. We could get ourselves a... Gee, why do I get hit so much? I'm a little rusty, that's why. Uh, sorry, Spike. Don't want ya. Sorry, Sword. Don't want ya. Spark, I was considering you, but you killed me. So... Oh. Oh, maybe... Oh, ooh, the tricks, the tricks. I was gonna be like, oh, maybe I should have gotten Spike or something. Um, but here you can get yourself a secret wheelie. If 
if I can uh, hit Wheelie, Mr. Will, Mr. Wheelie, Eager McBeager. Please let me attack Mr. Wheelie. I don't want to move because he's gonna get me. Come on, roll past me. Ooh. Um, I'll take Wheelie with me. Woo! Here we go. Open that up, and then we'll go zip, zooming all the way around. Okay. This is the life of the Butter Building. I like this world, but I think the next world is actually the world I always get stuck on the most, so that's gonna be great. Um, hmm. Wheelie, you've been great. I think I know what I desire most. No! Okay. Okay, I get it. We'll be Ice Kirby for now. Uh, Bugsy! Oh, crap! Ooh, ooh, but you are, in fact, brand new. And I'm died. I'm died. Yes, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I am died. I am Groot. Do, 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 do. I am Groot. Do, do, do. You guys ever... Oh, I just realized in Ice Kirby, Kirby's holding a popsicle. That's kind of horrible. Oh, jeez! Bugsy, no. Alright, so the key is to avoid him like that, and then you go ahead and freeze him to death. You turn him into a sweet little smoothie. Uh, he will he will release bugs when uh, trying to get you, but we can kill him. And we get ourselves a backdrop, Kirby! Uh, it's kind of like what Bugsy does. He'll f We can throw our enemies around and do freaking WWE moves. So close to the one, but we couldn't do it. Oh well. Oh well. Can we do what you do? Can't do it all. Level 3. Hopefully we can do backdrop Kirby some justice. Got some of these, uh, Bronto Burts as their official- No! Backdrop Kirby, come back! Okay, okay, we have backdrop still. I'm gonna- I'm gonna watch myself here. Ah! Uh, I'm gonna watch myself with the- Ah! Bronto Burts! Oh, boom! There we go. That was what I call a backdrop. Um, we could get high jump Kirby, but for for old times' sakes, I think I'm gonna grab him. But uh, yeah, you could suck up at your enemies and have them face a painful death and give them the good old backdrop. Good display that. I don't high jump Kirby will make our lives easier, but I don't think we need them. I don't think so. In a minute, maybe. Oh, eat that, Bronto Bert. Yeah, I, I ain't scared now. I ain't scared of no one. Oh, did you see that? The pile drive, bro. Bronto Bert! No! Wait, no. Backdrop Kirby will live on. He will live on. And we got a bunch of rooms that we gotta go through. Fair enough. Now, I will select one lucky room to go through. And I believe this lucky room will be this one. I'll choose this one. Woo! A jerk move. Dang. Talk about jerk moves for death. Ah, uh, okay. That is how it's done. That, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Uh, we lost backdrop Kirby, unfortunately, but at least I got to show him off a little bit. Uh, that's the door for the metamato. So, Jay, it would have been nice to get the one up and the, the potato. I'm just gonna call it the meta potato. No. Oh, we don't need no sword. Take that, star block. Take that. And that takes us to the end of the level. Yeah, you're, you're kind of seeing the theme. This game ain't that long. We're going through, even while screwing up, we're like, probably like, what? Like, halfway through the world in like 10 minutes? Woo! Ability room, I think. Museum, right? Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, high jump Kirby. Huh, something tells me we're gonna need ourselves a high jump. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Because I remember one level here. I think this is the one I remember the most. Okay, this is not the one I remember the most. I'm okay, kidding, uh, probably is. We're climbing up the butter building. Climbing up the butter building. Yes, we are. Alright, so we're gonna go up this door. Oh my god, it's better night! Could I damage enemies with the high jump? Oh, I can. Oh, I can. You are about to face the 
No! I was about to say you're about to face the Fury, or Terry faces the Fury IRL. Ugh! Darn it! I missed the trick shot, which makes me feel really sad, but don't worry, we'll, we'll get him next time. Also, as of the time of recording this, they actually added Kirby Superstar to uh, uh, the good old Super Nintendo Online, the SAS games. So, I don't know, maybe we can do something with Blake one day, or someone else, I don't know. Someone. Oh, this would have been so good with Hydra! Oh, bro. Well, that was a short level. I was about to come, I'm like, dang, I went through all that as a god. I didn't even get, get touched, bro. I didn't even get a scratch, but then I got a scratch before I could even say anything, which made me feel really sad. But you know what? It's fine. These things happen. What's that? <gasps> New minigame. Nice. I like this one. Quick draw. When the enemy draws, press the A button. If you press it too soon, you'll get a penalty. So it's a simple game of uh, Cowboys. You just wait for the cue and you press A when it's ready. Same thing as that. What, you thought Kirby was going to shoot a real gun? Like the Joker? So you just got to wait for the cue. You just do that. We defeat Sherlock Holmes, the jumping dude. And our next opponent is the knight. With the hat. I'm kind of doing this with, like, less audio cues since my TV is quiet, just so I can keep... Oh, God. It's bonkers. I can never do bonkers, guys. Bonkers is just too powerful. What do we get for our prize? Um, I believe if you get up to bonkers or higher, I think maybe you get a one-up. I forget, because I've never seen it. All right, stage five. This is the one I'm probably remembering. Starting off, invincibility. Can't go wrong with that. We're gonna scroll across and just kind of have a great time killing all these birds, killing all these evil dudes. King Deity's old pets. The birds. Not the birds, but the little... The guys who are all like, oh, we're happy, and then whenever they get a good look at you, then they become evil. Trust me, I played Superstar Ultra recently. That's like my recent Kirby game. And that's, I think while playing that, I realized just how bad I was at Kirby. Because I like the series, I just never got into the games. I don't know why. Oh crap, it's bonkers! Damn it. I mean, darn it. Sorry. Give me your nuts. So yeah, he'll like slam his hammer on the ground. And you can get yourself a star to shoot at him, but yeah. He'll hop around and he'll do that when he's about to throw his nuts at you. <laughs> sounds, sounds super wrong. Bonkers is about to throw his nuts. And just like that, Bonkers is down, and we get a new Kirby ability, Hammer. I don't think we've had Hammer yet, as far as I'm aware. I don't think so, but with this new ability of Hammer Kirby, ability of Hammer Kirby, break Hammer. Um. Oh, dude. Mmm, pile drive. What's with me and wrestling moves? Uh, we can break that, and we can get ourselves a Meta Mail that's a heal and a one up. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And that's the end of that level. Dang. I feel like World 2 took longer. But who knows, maybe the next level will be the longest level yet. But I don't feel like that's the case, because we are at the end of the world, basically. Alright, level 6. Uh, there's a laser ability. Goodbye, Hammer. We showed you off, and I'm sure you had a great time, but I think the game wants us to use laser. So, we're gonna have to use laser. Alright. Oh, no! Snap, crackle, prop, Kirby, Kirby, oh, jeez, oh, oh, no. Okay, I think I remember this level. I remember liking this one, because this one's just a huge showcase of good old-fashioned laser. So we just kind of go around, we snipe them, we snipe them, snipe them to death, and we just kind of go. And why did it look like Kirby was, like, struggling to climb? He's like, eh, gotta climb up. I don't know why I sounded like Peter Griffin for a second. Yeah. Hey, Lois, I gotta climb up. That's the only time you're hearing Family Guy on this channel. Hopefully. I don't know, maybe we'll play Family Guy the game. Oh, crap. Sorry, Laser. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The poor knight. He, he, he sacrificed his life to shove me, to basically shove me into the freaking, uh, 
shoved me into the mail mail. He's like, I will hit you, but you will get healed. Think of it as my gift to you. Oh, fireball curve. Oh, so these guys don't give you fire. Okay. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay, so this is Fireball Kirby. He just, as you dash, you just kind of, or hold the direction, you'll turn into a Fireball. I like this ability. I forgot it was even a thing. This is one of those forgotten Kirby abilities that no one talks about. I feel like my suspicion is correct. It seems to me that all you see is violence in movies and something on TV. But what are those good old-fashioned malls in which we use the live button? There's a good example of what a button does. Yep, there we go. We got the Shrek button, guys. I cannot believe- Oh god, stump. No! I fired! My fireball ability. Oh no, we got the dark room now. I'm, I'm scared. I'm honestly kind of terrified. Grabby hands or something. I'm not sure what the- Woo! I'm not sure what was up there, man, but- Device stone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I will solve the mystery. Light Kirby. We can see now. Guys, we can see. Um, okay, we're gonna now analyze you. Uh, you are an angel, a swag angel with sunglasses. That's my theory. And, uh, I swear there was one room. One level where it's something. Is it either we already experienced? Oh shoot! Well, that's the end of the level. Hooray! And we got the egg game too. So the egg game. And that's it. That's world. That's the butter building. We're not done yet, but we gotta. We gotta play ourselves some good old-fashioned egg catcher, so come on, King DDD, show us what you got. Feed me the- feed her the eggs. Okay, I caught a lot of eggs. 5,000? No, no, well, no, okay. I think that's what the same amount we got last time. I know I was kind of hesitant on some of this, but... Oh, well, um... We are at... Scary place, uh, scary place, uh, high jump, you will help me out in this boss battle, won't you buddy? Okay, so we're gonna grab ourselves some good old fashioned high jump, to help us out. And we're gonna take on the boss of Butter Building. Here we go, meet Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright, the sun and moon. One of them is gonna go up in the sky while the other one attacks. When they start blinking, uh, that means they're gonna do something to you. I'm not sure what they're gonna do. I'm gonna get our high jump ability back. I'm just gonna kinda jump around like a crazy maniac. Lose our ability. You got you wanna watch out with the moon too, because the moon, Mr. Bright can hurt you. And yes, they each have their own separate health bars. What was that? Okay. I believe you can get cutter from Oh my god. Ooh. Uh-oh. Dang. They hurt. They hurt a lot. These are kind of. I heard this. Bo I remember this boss actually being kind of difficult. You just kind of gotta be careful because both of them will go after you. You just gotta understand what they're gonna do. Like Mr. So Mr. Bright is gonna freaking shoot his laser down at us as uh, Mr. Moon, as Good Morning USA shows up. Figure out. Gotta figure out. Just gotta kinda. Just gotta take your opportunity and you gotta use their moves to your advantage. Ouch. Can you tell I'm not good at this game? Ah! Uh, okay. He's gonna shoot his sunbeam at us. Hit Mr. Bright, ouch. Uh. Shoot a sunbeam at us. Dodge you. And I suck. I swear I was pressing B to suck up. Darn. 
Huh. You know what? I have an idea. Take me to world one. We're going to grab an ability. I know it's a little bit of a risky endeavor and that could possibly backfire so hard that I'm going to get a game over. I did not mean to enter level three. Get out of here. Oh, I could go to the clean game. I think the, okay, I think the game's reset every time you restart the game. So unless I'm getting desperate for lives, then I won't, I will take advantage of that. But if not, then I don't think I will take advantage of that too much. All right, to level three. Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright, or Mr. Sun, Mr. Moon, Pokemon Sun and Moon, do your worst. All right, I'm just gonna kind of go in for a couple hits. Be careful. It's all about knowing my limits. Something tells me I'm not so far of going past my limits, but Mr. Sun is dead. And he'll kind of just chill out. Okay. So if you kill one of them, they will go in fact, they will go in a coma. They will- they can still hurt you though, which is scary. Ouch. My plan didn't work. The sword ability helped, but it didn't work. Guess we're gonna have to go back and grab it again. Okay, now I gotta be super duper careful. Mr. Sun doesn't seem like he's the problem. Or yeah, maybe I should kill Mr. Moon. Mr. Moon! I gotta kill Mr. Moon first. He's the real issue here. He's the man who made this episode. It's gotta stretch its 30 minute mark. Nah, if we have boring attempts that don't last long, I'll cut them out in editing. Because I have editing software now, so now I have the ability to make these episodes as long as I want. If really, I can go for an hour and chop it down to like 30 minutes. Alright, so who's up first? Okay. I'm gonna watch out, I'm gonna watch myself. care of you. Lose my ability. Which is probably the only thing keeping me alive right now. Ouch. Okay, just watch out. Come on, come on. No. It's over. It's over! Fudge! Darn it! Potato chips on ice. <sighs> okay. I can do it. It can be done. It can be done. We can finish this. Actually, I'm absolutely certain I can. It's just gonna take me a little bit. It'll be done, though. It will be done. Don't you worry about it, none. Don't you worry your tiny little... What was the thing for butt? It was like... Tushy. Tushy doesn't sound good though. It sounds immature. I was just gonna say bottom. Bikini bottom. The bikini bottom. I always see those... Guys. Okay, we're dealing with the moon now. I'm gonna have to watch myself. Just kinda going for a swipe. Just watch out. What's he gonna do? What's this man man gonna do? Oh! It can go all the way over there, you kidding me? Ouch. No, no, son of a... Okay. We're gonna have to be real good. Okay, shine your stars above. Eat this, eat this so much. Stop it. You don't scare me, Mr. Moon. You don't scare me one bit. Okay, just gotta, just gotta watch myself. Just 
gotta remain calm. Just gotta remain. Remain calm. I still have three hearts. Not hearts, but you know what I mean. Okay, we're down to two. Not good. We ain't doing hot. Which is kind of funny, considering his name. We just gotta... Just gotta remain sharp. Okay, so... I think we got this. We just gotta stay calm. Be smart. Be smart, little... Degenerates. Okay, he's down. So he's good. We just need to survive. I think we got this. Woo! No, 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 no. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, he's doing that. Okay, die, 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 die. Yes! Oh, they're done. They're done. Give me that piece of the star rod. We're now heading to Grape Garden, the level I am looking forward to the least on our journey. Not the levels themselves, I don't remember the levels being bad, it's the boss here. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of Kirby's Adventure. We went through all of Butter Building, we defeated Mr. Shine, Mr. Bright, which I think there are those, th those are their names. We'll just call them Pokemon Sun and Moon from now on. So yeah. Next time on Pokemon... Uh, why I say Pokemon? Oh, I'm sorry, I've been doing Pokemon Mega Ruby for a bit. Uh, next time on Kirby's Adventure, we will be continuing on to level 4, the Grape Garden. See you guys.